So let's say you've been uploading videos on YouTube. You're trying to build your brand, you're trying to build out your channel, but not much is moving. And you can't figure out why you're uploading this content and you're just not getting the subscribers and the views that you want. So what gives? Well, in this video, I want to share what you can do, a couple key strategies, three in particular, you can start doing right now if your channel growth is stuck. And you really want to get to that first 1,000 subscriber mark as soon as possible. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now I've included the first link in the description is a beta waitlist for my brand new business course coming out in a month. So we're gonna be talking about how I've actually managed to build a six figure brand by using YouTube. And if you're interested, the first link in the description is the waitlist for this new course. So you can check it out, download the free 30 minute podcast on how to build a business and life you love. But if you wanna be notified of the premium course, add your name to the list below. So step one is really the blue sky brainstorming about your topic, right? So at the end of the day, let's say you're at 20 subscribers, 10 subscribers, or you haven't even launched yet. What do you really build your brand about, right? Because there are people who upload topics on what they love, and there's people who upload on topics they know the audience wants to hear more about. But ultimately, to have a successful channel, you have to have both the intersection between what you like and what other people want. You know, when it came to building my channel, I've done both. So I got to 100,000 subscribers by creating content on a specific topic, which was really fitness and weight loss, because that's what my brand was about. But then around 100,000 subscribers, I rebranded because I wanted to move more in the direction of what I love, which is personal development and personal growth. Because it was only in that that I could actually share more of my personal stories on how I've coached people and how I've reinvented my own life. So what I would suggest is two key questions. The first question is really what do you love to talk about and what are you really deeply interested in or deeply interested in becoming good at? Because I say that more than anything, your love of the topic, your passion, your drive to get good at it or figure it out, that's gonna draw in other people. Like all day long, you can create videos on crap that you don't care about, but that's not going to work in the long run. That's not a sustainable strategy because you can only do something for so long that you don't really love. So when it comes to the topic, think about things like, number one, what excites you? Number two, what is more niche? So for example, you could be talking about fitness and diet, but if you start talking about gluten-free dieting, or fitness with digestive problems, or fitness for women, or fitness for women over 40. Every single one of those niches, every time you niche down, your chances of success are gonna go way up. So if there's something that obviously you feel like, oh, that could be me, that's a good place to start. The last thing to consider is what gap isn't being filled. So for example, if you think, Everyone's talking about fitness, but no one's talking about fitness with this health problem. Fill that gap. And the last question is, what do you wish a YouTuber would do? You know, for me, one thing I wished YouTubers do would do was actually be honest. Like, I wish they would just give real talk, not this bullshit I see so much on the internet. So that's the gap I filled. I give the real talk on personal growth. I don't talk about the peace and light, the love and the rainbows. I talk about how much it sucks and how much you just got to do the work because that's real. That's what all the successful people really think and really feel and they aren't sharing. Now, the second thing is coming up with your certain content archetypes and your signature style. There are a lot of different ways to go about presenting the exact same topic. For example, look at two of the big YouTubers in the health, uh, the men's style and the men's the men's lifestyle space. You've got Aaron Marino, and his communication style is very blunt, very high energy, minimal editing, just like very in your face. And his titles are really just like tabloid headlines. That's his style. Now that's different from Antonio Centeno over at Real Men Real Style. Antonio's style is very, uh, it's very prescriptive, more teaching, it's less personal. 
It's very like three ways to do that, five ways to do that. It's very fashion oriented. And, Anten- and Antonio himself is a little bit more sensitive and more soft. And he's not as forceful as Aaron. So those are two people who are super successful, different communication styles, different video editing styles, and different content production styles. So you need to think about what's the way I'm going to produce video and what's the way I'm going to actually teach and present myself. Now the third thing is the way you structure your videos, coming up with a systematic process to structure them. So one of the biggest things I ever did for my videos that was the most useful in saving time is actually coming up with an SOP, which is a kind of standard operating procedure. So every time I script a video, it has the same format, which allows me to have consistent quality for you, consistent editing style for me and the editors, and it's just an easier way to figure out how am I gonna teach a topic? If I wanna talk about how to improve your life, there's a million videos I could produce on that. But I know that I wanna produce a video with an introduction, a personal story that I share, and then a teaching point. And we do that in every single video. And it produces a consistently good quality video that's easy for me to script, easy to shoot and relay and teach and connect, and then it's easy for someone to edit. So figure out what is gonna be your process. Is it gonna be, you could do the same thing, I'm gonna tell a personal story and then teach. I'm just gonna tell personal stories and be vulnerable. I'm just gonna teach. I'm gonna do breakdowns. I'm gonna analyze other people's stuff. There's a lot of different ways to do it and figure out what resonates with you and what your audience likes the most. All right, guys, so that's a very basic introduction on how I would recommend getting your first 1,000 subscribers. The only other thing is you have to upload at least once a week and you need to analyze what's working and what's not working. So all of business and all of entrepreneurship, including audience growth, is really about throwing spaghetti at the wall, seeing what sticks, and then going with the things that stick. And no person can ever predict, not even the most successful business person, what will stick before they try it. So you need to make a lot of things, throw a lot of stuff at the wall, see what works and run with it. Go where the flow is. All right guys, now of course, super pumped to be launching my first business course. It's a premium business course, how I built a successful business online using YouTube. The first link in the description has a free 30 minute podcast on how I did that. You don't need to enter your email for that so you can listen to that. But if you want to be notified to be one of the first 50 beta members of my business course, which launches next month, add your name to that list below because otherwise you will not hear about it. So I'm looking for 50 people that will be beta members. They'll get the course for the cheapest ever. um, And it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. It's really the, the biggest thing that I worked on in the last five years that changed my life was really becoming a successful business owner. So if that resonates, check it out. Otherwise, check out my last videos there and there. I like to think of YouTube like a business and the number one reason why a lot of businesses fail is because they do not have a business plan. So today I'm going to really be talking about what you should have in your YouTube plan and all the different things that you should be focusing on every single time you upload a video. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So if you guys are new here, my name is Ruby. I'm a 22 year old YouTuber, entrepreneur, and motivational speaker. I created this Money Monday series to basically give you guys an insight on all things finance and wealth education. I talk about all things, how to make money, how to save money, how to invest, how to budget, um, how to make money from home, how to make money from your phone, literally everything that I feel like people would be interested in to upgrade their financial life. Um, So in one of my past videos, I talked about how much I have made on the YouTube platform altogether and I really broke down the different metrics in the YouTube algorithm, how to get paid more um, based on cost per mil. Really just went in depth in all things money related. If you guys haven't watched that video, definitely click on the card here and you guys will get a full insight on the money side of YouTube. But since I posted that video, I've gotten a lot of great feedback and a lot of people were interested in my specific tips for YouTube growth. And if you guys didn't know, in the past couple of months, my YouTube channel has grown exponentially. I did hit 100,000 subscribers a couple of months ago. I'm already at 144,000 subscribers. So my YouTube channel has literally doubled in the past couple of months, which is actually crazy. 
and since then I've been featured in Business Insider three times just on my YouTube and entrepreneurial life in general and I've gotten tons of questions on how to really grow on this platform so in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my top five steps or five, top five tips actually on how to grow on this platform and before I begin I do want to um, let you guys know that I do have a Money Mondays giveaway that I give $100 every single Monday to a different subscriber you want to be next week's $100 Money Mondays giveaway winner all you have to do is follow these three simple steps first text lavish ruby to 77948 to get updates on new videos important announcements giveaways and more second follow my personal page lavish ruby and my business page lavish life academy on instagram third last but not least all you have to do is screen record a part of this video and share it on your instagram story to your followers don't forget to tag at lavish ruby and hashtag money monday so that i can see your entry you can enter up to a week from post date and you'll be messaged on instagram if you win you guys do not want to enter the hundred dollar money mondays giveaway i do give away 50 dollars on instagram live every single sunday i literally give it away live you guys are able to see the winner and everything like that on instagram um this is my way of really just giving back to my audience and my viewers because it's honestly such a tough time right now i know a lot of people are losing jobs and it's just a lot going on so i'm trying to do my, the best i can to really help my viewers out with content like this um my last video was how to make more money from home and actually giving back to you guys finance wise so definitely subscribe if you haven't already follow me on all of my social media platforms i'll put it on the screen here for you guys to um check out and without further ado let's get into the video so personally i like to think of youtube like a business and the number one reason why a lot of businesses fail is because they do not have a business plan so today i'm going to really be talking about about what you should have in your YouTube plan and all the different things that you should be focusing on every single time you upload a video. I also have a free checklist that you guys are able to download in the description bar down below that will give you everything that you should be doing every time you upload a video. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely click on down below. It's completely free, you don't have to do anything. So I have five main tips that I'm going to talk about today and then I'm gonna really go in depth with each one. See, I recommend you guys to get a pen and paper so that you can refer to this every time you upload a video or if you're doing YouTube planning in general so that you have something um, um, by you that has all this information that I'm talking So the first thing that you have to focus on when you are becoming a youtuber is your content You want to really put out quality content so that people are able to subscribe watch your videos and things of that sort When I say quality content, I'm saying that you have to give valuable content to your viewers um, I'm not necessarily talking about getting the you know most expensive fanciest camera out there and getting you know these crazy lights and getting this you know 200 $300 um, editing software obviously these big youtubers they do have those different things but that's because they were able to build themselves up to that point of course it's great to invest in yourself but don't let that hold you back from creating content um, because a lot of these huge youtubers they started off with webcams with their iPhones with their smartphones in general and they were still able to give valuable content to get people to subscribe me personally I started my YouTube channel out with using an iPhone 5 I think it was like an iPhone 5c and if you guys remember the con quality of that those specific phones it wasn't really the best but I was still able to get valuable content out for people to subscribe right so definitely don't underestimate the quality that iPhones have smartphones have in general natural lighting is honestly amazing for beginner youtubers and that's really what a lot of people do when they start their YouTube channel out so really don't wait um, for perfection before you start your YouTube channel because because that's only gonna, going to prolong the growth that's destined for your channel besides your camera and lighting another thing is editing right so you want to be able to learn how to edit videos and you can really learn how to edit from YouTube there's a tons of videos on here that really show you how to edit based on different editing software so every single um, iMac or Apple product has iMovie if you have an Apple computer you can literally download iMovie onto your phone and edit off of your phone and besides that there's multiple different editing softwares out there that you can really download to your computer to start editing for free I'm gonna link down below a couple of different editing softwares that you can use to start editing so now that you have figured out how you're going to film and edit your videos now you want to really focus on what kind of videos you're going to create a lot of people recommend niching down when they start a YouTube channel um, this basically means picking a category and just making a whole bunch of videos on that specific category but honestly don't recommend that specific theory just because you don't know what your audience likes yet you don't even know what you like yet so I recommend trying different things out in the beginning and seeing which ones which type of videos you are the most comfortable filming which videos 
you feel as though your audience likes more, which videos get the most views, and then from that point, you can really focus on that specific category. I say this to say, um, when you're starting out, try and film different videos in different categories that really interest you, emphasis on interest you, because at the end of the day, it's your channel, and then at that point, you can really figure out what kind of videos your audience like. Once your niche finds you, then at that point, you can make more content in that specific niche. And honestly, don't be turned off on the fact that editing is hard because editing is hard for everybody in the beginning. It's honestly a whole new skill. But as you continue to put more content out, everything is going to be easier. So you're going to be more confident on camera. Editing is going to be easier. All the different aspects I'm going to talk about today is going to flow easier for you because you're going to have more practice so now that you know what type of content you're going to create and how you're going to create the content now you want to really focus on the youtube algorithm I'm sure that you guys have probably heard the words youtube algorithm a ton of times especially when it comes to youtube growth but a lot of people don't really understand the meaning behind it so i'm really going to break it down for you guys in the next couple of steps just to give you guys a definition of what youtube algorithm means i'm going to give you guys a definition on the screen here so youtube YouTube's algorithm serves to render the most personalized content to its users. YouTube analyzes viewer behavior on videos watched, click-through click rates, average time spent, engagement, which means likes, dislikes, and comments, and explicit feedback submissions among hundreds of data points. Videos watched, click-through rates, average time spent, and engagement. So I'm going to go in depth with these four different things in the next couple of steps here. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is your click-through rate. And this is a very important part of the YouTube algorithm. Before your potential audience even gets to see your video, you have to focus on a couple of different things to get them to click on your specific video to watch. So the first thing is relevancy. Is your video content relevant to what's going on right now? Is this something that people are interested in watching? Have you seen this video go viral? Is it trending? Do people actually care about the specific content? And one thing that I see a lot of YouTubers do when they first start a channel out is they focus more on themselves rather than giving value out to people, right? So a lot of YouTubers' first videos is a get to know me, right? Or a question and answer. And a lot of times this is not content that people are interested in seeing. As harsh as it sounds, if you don't have a crazy following on Instagram or another social media platform, people really do not care to get to know you right now. You want to focus on putting value out to get people to want to know you first before you start giving out unwarranted information. Like, I really don't care what your favorite color is because I don't even know who you are yet. You know, so you want to focus on putting out relevant information, relevant video topics, and searchable video topics so that people are able to really find your channel first before anything else. Then down the line, after your fourth or fifth video, maybe you can really go into really giving more information about yourself and do a get to know me tag or do a question and answer. But you really want to focus on putting out content that people are actually going to care about seeing when you're first starting out. You have to understand that YouTube is the second largest search engine. So people are constantly searching things up on YouTube and you want your videos to come up when people are searching a specific topic related to the video that you're creating. Because besides you sending your video links out to people or putting it in your Instagram bio or in your Instagram story, you want other people on the platform to find your video content. So this comes down to search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is honestly so important because because you want to be able to articulate what your specific video is about in the right places. So there's three important parts that um, come down to your search engine optimization. It's your title, your thumbnail, and your description bar. I'm actually gonna go to some of my past videos to kind of give you guys an idea of what a good searchable um, title is. Uh, so an example of one of my videos that I really put effort into put, making sure that my title had searchable content is my car video. So as you guys know, I got a Porsche a couple of months ago as my first car. The title of this video has important parts to it and I like to kind of split up my titles um, to two different parts. One part is searchable content and another part is a wow factor, right? So. Um, the searchable content in my title for this one is buying my dream car because I know that this um, topic is something that a lot of people type into the search bar. So buying my dream car was part of it. And then the wow factor of it was I bought a Porsche at 21. Right? So I was able to include that so that, you know, people are typing in buying my dream car. People are not going to really be typing into the search bar, I bought a Porsche at 21. But when they see that specific part in the title, after typing in the second part, which is buying my dream car, they're going to be more enticed to click on that specific video. Another part I included was luxury car tour. And that's another thing that people are always 
searching up. So another thing that definitely helps with your SEO is your description bar. So in your description bar, you want to make sure that you're outlining what your video is talking about. So you want to include, again, those specific keywords so that you are constantly reminding YouTube that this video is about what I'm talking about, right? So you want to include your title, again, inside your description bar. You want to include also different keywords related to the video that you're talking about. So just to recap, with the click-through rate, you want to make sure that the videos that you're putting out is relevant so that people are actually searching for the content. You want to make sure that your SEO is good so you're putting the right information in your title, your, your description bar, as well as your tags. And lastly, to really tie everything together, you want to make sure that your thumbnails are up to par. So the main purpose of your thumbnail is to grab your potential viewers' attention. You want them to stop scrolling, right? when they see your specific thumbnail to click on your video. 80% um, of YouTube viewers are looking at videos or looking at YouTube on their phone. So you want to make sure that all the important graphics, all the important words that you want to be shown on your specific thumbnail is able to be seen on a mobile device. So I always do like an iPhone check anytime I put up a thumbnail to make sure that when I'm scrolling I can really see it and it's not only being visible on my Mac desktop computer. Is that you want to make sure that you focus on getting high quality quality pictures. What I've been doing is instead of taking screenshots of a frame in the video, I've been actually spending time to actually take pictures related to the video content for the specific video. I'm using high quality resolution pictures instead of using a screenshot that definitely brings down the quality a little bit more. And besides that, um, tons of different websites that you guys can use to edit your thumbnail pictures. Um, some that I recommend is Canva, another one is PicMonkey, and Photo P is another one which is kind of like Photoshop online. or. I think it's photo, photo S or Photo P. I'll put the links to all of them in the description bar down below. Use one of those three websites to really make sure that your video thumbnails are high quality pictures, right? Because like I said before, you want to make sure that people are stopping what they're doing when they're scrolling to click on your specific thumbnail. So now that you have people actually clicking on the video due to your relevancy and your search engine, engine optimization, you want to make sure that people are actually watching your video. Because if people are watching your video to a certain amount and they, you have a good video retention rate, YouTube is going to understand that, okay, people actually like this content and they're going to continually push your videos out to the recommended page. And they're going to start recommending you on home pages and recommending you on people's search bars because they understand that this is actually quality content and people are liking the video that they're watching. Because a lot of times people will click on a video, right, and they won't watch the video. They'll watch like the first minute and they'll already get annoyed and be like, you know what, I'm done and exit out, you know? and. You want to make sure that that is not the case for your specific channel. You make sure that the quality of the content that you're creating is good so that people are actually watching a good percentage of it. So that includes giving value to your viewers. So personally what I do is I make sure that I kind of outline what I'm going to talk about in the video so that people can watch a good portion of it, right? A lot of times people come into a video and they're just talking, you know, and I'm like, all right, I don't even know where this is going to end up because, you know, the title isn't clear, the thumbnail isn't clear, the description bar isn't clear. At this point, I'm just watching and hoping that something good happens out of it, right? So I really want to make sure that anytime I put a video out, I'm really explaining what's going to be seen in the video. Even when I do my vlogs, I kind of put like a, kind of like a teaser in the beginning where I kind of outline everything that's going to happen in the vlog so that if that, that interests the person, they know that, okay, um, you know, towards the end of the vlog, Ruby's gonna have like a game night, she's gonna be at a party, or she's gonna be doing this and this and this, and you see that in the first couple of minutes of the video, or if I'm explaining what I'm talking about, they know in the beginning of the video what's going to happen towards the end so that they can watch it a little bit more. But basically, you wanna make sure that your video retention rate is as high as possible. Third part of the YouTube algorithm is video engagement, and I actually kind of split up video engagement to about three different parts, right? So, in your specific video, you wanna make sure that the people that are watching it is engaging with you. This specific definition, it said that um, engagement includes likes and dislikes as well as comments. Don't be afraid to give a call to action in your video and this is basically reminding people to give your video a thumbs up, to subscribe to your channel. Honestly, a lot of people just forget. A lot of people aren't as seasoned of a YouTube viewer as you might be and you know like, okay, 
I should like this video or I should subscribe but sometimes people forget some people don't even really understand YouTube like that to understand that okay maybe I should give this video a thumbs up so make sure you're telling people that are watching the video please like this video please comment on this video give them a specific question right ask them a question in the video ask them to comment a specific thing because all these different things shows that people are engaging with your content and they obviously like what you're putting out so again this is going to make YouTube push your content out to different viewers because you're, you have a lot of likes, you have a lot of comments. A hack that I have for you guys is to reply to every single comment that you receive, especially in the beginning. In the beginning stages of your YouTube career, you want to reply to every single comment because if you're only getting five comments on your video, simply replying to all five of them now makes it 10 comments and that helps your YouTube algorithm a little bit more. Besides engaging with your viewers, you want to engage in the community that your specific video niche falls under. So if I'm filming college vlogs, I'm going to be commenting on a whole bunch of other college bloggers videos so that people can see my name and see my th my um, profile picture more often and they'll be able and they'll be more inclined now to see kind of who this person is if this person puts out content. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a comment and decided to just click on the profile picture and you you go to their channel and they have no content whatsoever but they have like 15 subscribers that's because that person is commenting consistently they might think that they upload videos so they want to go and check out the channel come to find out they have no content and I'm definitely not telling you guys to spam people's videos you want to be genuine and really engage with the specific video that's out there so give a compliment talk about something that's going on in the video in hopes that people click on your profile picture you don't you do not have to be spammy for people to come to your specific YouTube YouTube channel. Besides that, in the beginning of your YouTube career, you might be interested in doing collaborations or becoming YouTube friends with other people in your niche. And you guys can do videos together or you guys can kind of plan out content where it's like, okay, I'll promote your video if you promote my video. I only have a thousand subscribers, but my audience and your audience combined, now we might have 50 more extra subscribers between the both of us because we just decided to shout each other out. There's a lot of different things that you can do to really help with your video engagement in this aspect but I definitely recommend you guys to find different YouTube quote-unquote friends um, while you're starting out to kind of help each other and push each other while you're starting your YouTube channel and comment on other people's videos make sure that your name and your your profile picture is out there I used to comment on all the college blogs I saw when I started college when I started college blogging just so that people can really see my name when I'm out there and then the next part of engagement is really trying to push your specific content out to the people that already follow you. Make sure you're promoting yourself on Twitter. Make sure you're promoting yourself on even LinkedIn. You want people that are already following you to, so, to know that you have a YouTube channel. You honestly want to be your biggest fan. You want to make sure that you are promoting yourself as much as you can to the audiences that you have available. Um, it might honestly seem tedious and pointless in the beginning, but all of this does help with your YouTube algorithm altogether. If you're constantly telling your friends and family just please give it a like please just comment on the video it all helps so the final so step that i have for you guys is to just be consistent i feel like this is one thing a lot of people fail at when they start a youtube channel they only upload you know one or two videos and then they take a long break before they continue again you want to make sure that you are uploading at minimum at least two times a week and this is just so that you can get as much content as you can on the platform so when people watch your videos and they're actually interested and they want to subscribe they have other videos available and all of that can kind of be like a funnel to more views right so you want to make sure that you're being consistent so that YouTube knows that okay um, this this person has this this and this content that I can constantly be pushing out um, anytime somebody watches your video it definitely does sound a little bit easier than it is but um, one thing that you can do to kind of combat that is by batch creating content Batch creating content is the idea of making multiple videos in, you know, say a week or a couple of days that you can have readily available when you want to upload throughout the rest of the month or the next two months or so. So that's definitely something that I'm really trying to work on because I really struggle in creating content and having the energy to create content because sometimes I'm just not feeling it you know like everybody we're all human sometimes I don't want to be super energized on camera sometimes I don't want to wear makeup so one thing I'm definitely trying to do is batch create content at the times that I do feel high energy you know so that I have content readily available for the next couple of weeks and this comes all the way down to just planning in advance you want to really make sure that you have a list of video ideas so that anytime that you feel creative or you feel like okay I want to film 
a couple of videos today you want to might you might even want to take it a step further and create a whole calendar for yourself of when you're going to film specific videos and what videos you're going to upload for that specific month so that's basically it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys got a lot out of this um if you guys haven't already make sure you guys download that video um upload checklist because it really goes in depth with all the different things you should do before you upload a video to really make sure that you're leveraging all that youtube has to offer if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up i put a lot of time and energy into filming this content make sure you guys comment if you haven't down below enter the money mondays giveaway so that you can win a hundred dollars next week follow me on instagram because every single sunday i'm going to be giving away fifty dollars on live and i also do show you guys the behind the scenes of the different things that i do on a day-to-day -day basis next week monday i'm actually going to be talking about the foreign exchange market and how i was able to start trading for actually how i got into trading in the foreign exchange market and how you guys can as well so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys subscribe like i keep saying um turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when the video goes live and i'll see you guys in my next video